Right now at 10, chilling new details in the murders of Casey Jones and her four children. Newly released documents lay out the gruesome weeks, days, and even hours leading up to their bodies being found in South Georgia. Michael Jones, Casey Jones' husband, is accused in the deaths. Yeah, he's scheduled to appear before a judge tomorrow when he'll be arraigned in the children's murders. The four young victims ranged in age from 1 to 10. New Sir Jack supporter Corley Peel has been digging through these documents and joins us in studio now to show us what, what they reveal. Gruesome, right? Right. Well, Kit and Mary, these are probably the hardest documents I've ever had to read. These are 142 pages, and they give details on how deputies believe Michael Jones killed his family and what he told police about why he felt they need they needed to die. And in these documents, he claims he killed Casey after they got into an argument. Then he killed the children to keep the persona that she was still alive. He also told investigators he killed the children because they were related to Casey and he was mad at her. Hundreds of pages of documents reveal the timeline of when Michael Jones is believed to have killed his wife, Casey Jones, and their four children. According to these documents, Michael Jones told detectives he killed his wife on July 10th. He claims she called him at work, accusing him of cheating. When he came home, he says she wouldn't leave him alone. Jones claims his wife grabbed a baseball bat, he got a hold of it, then told detectives he hit Casey and kept hitting her. He then put her body in a tote, hiding it in their bedroom closet. Michael Jones told detectives he was in it and had to keep up the persona that Casey Jones was still alive. Following Casey's death, the report reveals Jones arranged to have the children stay with family members. Deputies say Michael Jones admitted he would text and message family members on Casey Jones's phone pretending to be her. In mid-August, deputies say he killed the two boys. Jones told detectives he choked Cameron Bowers first, then drowned Preston Browers in the bathtub the next day. A few days later, Jones told detectives he went to the Bellevue City Hall to turn himself in, but couldn't work up the courage. That night, he killed Mercalli and Ayana Jones by separately drowning them in the bathtub, according to the documents. Investigators say he eventually drove to southeast Georgia, where he dumped the bodies of the children in the woods. He then got into a crash, called 911, and deputies say he told them he killed his wife and her body was found in his van.